Hey artists, today you're going to get back your word that you painted last time, our onomatopoeia word. You're going to get back those white details. If you didn't finish these, um, get those done quickly. And you're going to get back your background that we made the very first day. And I'm going to start off, oh, and you're going to need to get a Sharpie from up front. I'm going to take that Sharpie and I'm going to start with my background and I'm going to outline all of my shapes. So I'm going to carefully outline my big newspaper or newsprint explosion. I'm going to outline all my primary colored shapes, the explosions and the organic shapes. It's going to give them a nice black outline. So they stand out a little bit more and oftentimes we see those black outlines in um, actual comics. After you have your background outlined, uh, make sure to get everything traced. I can trace my details as well. Giving them nice black outlines. And after you get your details traced, then you're going to trace your words. Okay, just the very outline of them. Okay, so lots of tracing to start off our class. After you've got your background outlined, your word outlined, and your details outlined, you are going to carefully cut out your words. I'm going to do my best to leave that black outline around them. If you have a word that has a section um, in the middle of it that needs to be cut out, like your O's and your B's and your P's and your D's, um, you can either try to cut out yourself if you think you know how to, and I can show you a trick here in just a second. Or you can let me know and I can help out too. Okay, select my P here. What I can do is take one edge of my scissors, set it in the middle. So I'm kind of pressing my scissors down onto um, my paper. And I can just carefully pull that back. And you see it pokes a hole into that paper. And then I can carefully just snip it out. Okay, if yours are too small or you don't think you can do that, let me know and I can try to cut, help you out with them. After you have your words cut out, we're going to glue them down to your artwork. Okay, A lot of times I kind of like to put mine at a diagonal. I kind of tip them like this so that they're not just perfectly straight on. Okay, Not like this. Um, tipping them kind of makes your word feel a bit more exciting. It's okay if they hang off the edge of your paper just a little bit. And we are going to use dots of glue to glue these down. Make sure that you are spelling your word correctly. If you're not sure, let me know. So you might want to lay out your letter letters ahead of time. Just make sure they're all going to fit on there and you got them in the right place. And I can flip that over and give it a nice back rub. Making sure that it's stuck on there. And I've got one more step. And that is cutting out and gluing down my little details. So these, usually I tell you not to bubble cut. I'm okay with you just giving these a very small bubble cut around them. I think that the little bit of white border around them kind of helps emphasize your details a little bit, kind of helps bring your attention to them. If you end up accidentally cutting something that you shouldn't, or ripping something, just let me know. We can always fix that. One more lightning bolt. All right, got all those cut out. I'm gonna kind of take a look, figure out where I want these to go. Right, they're probably gonna be kind of around the edges of my artwork. So I think I'm gonna kind of do them opposites of each other like this. Okay. So uh, I'm going to put a little bit of glue. You can see that this one's kind of hanging off, so I don't need to glue that whole thing. Just kind of making a mental note of where to put the glue. And I can set that on there. Dots of glue. Two. Three. And my last one. Four. or some of you guys only have like three of them okay starting off outlined everything so your background your words your details 
then you are going to um, cut out your words and glue them down. And then last but not least, cut out your details and glue them down. Lots to get done today. When you are finished, please help out a friend.